finish him. Alright, so if you guys happen to watch my last video titled Oh Behavior, you'll notice that I pulled a commentary or video essayist's Divinity Original Sin, and not only went through the idea phase, the research phase, the editing phase, and putting it on YouTube, I still had an oversight that I didn't read something in the patch notes that I talked about in the video. And I'm gonna be honest, you guys did not let me live that one down. Some nicer than others, but regardless, I am here to rectify that oversight. In that video, there is a line that reads, will be implemented in a future patch, worded above the exaltation change that I talked about. And you know what? That future patch came today. So I'm ready to farm some items, and you can too. For those that are not in the loop, the devs added the ability to keep items that you change in the trial with the perks exaltation, which I was originally under the impression they weren't going to do, that they in fact did it. So now it's as simple as... And boom, you got a nice new rare item from your stacks of garbage ones. And if escaping the trial after all this is still too hard, I tested it, and just like normal, bringing a white ward keeps your shiny new items after the trial as well. Keep in mind though, written within Exaltation, it does specify pallet stuns, so don't be trying to do this, this, or this, expecting your item to upgrade, because it won't. So get out there, get some stuns, and if you're watching this video as it drops on September 5th through 12th, you get some extra blood points while you're out there stunning killers, so get out there, buckaroos. This has been me, Dwight Main, and as always, Asta Gamers. Freak out!